<clears throat> there we go. What? New Lego themes? Epic! Alright, so we're going to lego.com once again. Taking a look at some new Lego themes that I want to, I guess, take a look at. Or, like, at least explore and maybe express my thoughts on. Previous one we did Super Mario. Now, the theme I'm most interested to see on is probably... Oh, what's Lego art? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the... F what's Lego art? I don't know what this is about. Let's check the products, actually. I don't know. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay, that's actually really cool. So, I guess these are some... It's pretty similar to brick sketches, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not really into those. But let's go check out Monkey Kid. Obviously, um, this is kind of a theme that was released in May, but I'm pretty sure this was released in May. I'm not sure. Or maybe June. But I want to express my thoughts on these because I have released some new sets. Um, I want to take a look at the newest ones first, which starting with the Monkey King Brickheads, which I don't really care for this one at all, but I usually like Brickheads, but not that one. I actually do have the Monkey King from Series 19, though. So this one is the Flaming Foundry, which I'm pretty sure is some sort of fortress. And this is actually releasing September 1st. Okay, this is September 1st. I thought these were releasing on August. Um, I, oh, yes, and I forgot. Uh, Mario Starter Course. I just ordered it, so you might ex expect a review of that like, maybe in two months' time. Because they're actually delayed. But I'm pretty sure, maybe they'll release in August, I'm not sure. So, either way, this is some sort of evil fortress for the bull army, I guess. I really wish I could get these. I'm not sure if they have it on, like, these online stores in the Philippines. I, I wonder if they do, actually. If they do, I'll most likely get some Monkey Kid sets. Now, one thing that interests me the most, actually, is... Bu -bu -bu oh, yes, this minifigure. This princess. I, I'm pretty sure it's Princess Iron Fan. Um... I'm really interested to see um, what the role of that figure is, because I thought it was Red Sun who was the leader. Then I guess they have bulls as their enemies. And bull clones. And I think this has something to do with, like, Chinese culture or something. Now, the thing I'm most interested to see on is this. This looks a lot like the Demon Bull King set, another Monkey Kid set, but it looks like a mini version of it. Like, it doesn't it look like a mini version of the Demon Bull King, doesn't it? Which, by the way, we'll show you the Demon Bull King in, in a while. But I want to take a look at these. So, here are the main figures. Um, probably, I really, I love them all. I love them. They're all super cool. The Bull Soldiers. Now, they're actually really cool, though. But one thing I wish is, it's, this is supposed to be some sort of fortress for them. But what annoys me is that there's only two Bull Soldiers. They should have, they really should have included, um, another bull soldier instead of that construction worker. Don't get me wrong, the construction worker is cool, but at least give him an exclusive outfit, because I think the only thing new about it is really the face, so, in my opinion, they should have, I don't know, maybe give, either gave him a new torso or not put him as a whole and put another bull soldier, but the bull soldiers do come in a lot of sets, so it's fine, and you can actually see there's some sort of tank as well. And I actually want to show you the, the box. Where's the box? Which, that's actually a pretty cool box art. This other one's called the Monkey Kid's Cloud Roaster. Hmm. I don't know. The wheels look a bit... The wheels look a bit weird. But the other... But the overall size is okay. I like the minifigure selection. They actually have some really cool minifigures. Um, which... The other builds don't... The builds aren't really that good. This side build here is pretty bad. I don't know. And what the heck, and what is this? I don't know. I just, I don't know. Not really in my taste. But I do like the Cloud Roaster, though. But the build for the villains is pretty bad, honestly. They have actually some really cool minifigures, though. Um, They have some pretty interesting minifigures with some new hair pieces. Actually, they use Cole's hair. I wish they did it in a different color, though. And, of course, another Monkey Kid. He comes in all of the sets. And then these two new figures, I guess, new enemies... I'm not entirely sure what their names are, though. And here's the box. This is 659 pieces and retails for $70 in the United States. Are you serious? That is so overpriced. It should be 50 bro. There's this other one called Sandy Speedboat for $60. What do you think we're made of money? Dude, are you kidding me? 
Okay, I understand. There's a big figure, which those usually are like $10 or something. But still, dude, super overpriced for what I think is a pretty bad set, honestly. Don't really care for the for any of the builds. I do like the minifigures, though. Like the spider lady is actually cool. This is sort of, this sort of, this theme is sort of similar to Hidden Side for me, actually. Because they have these new sorts of enemies in the second wave than in the first wave. I think the figures are cool, though. But, honestly, the build really sucks. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. And you can actually see, here's the, the box. I especially love that Sandy minifigure, which, which finally comes in a... Nope, it's not cheap. <laughs> Like, why is all the Monkey Kid set so expensive? So yeah, we're moving on to the other stuff that released before. This is the Monkey Kid's Cloud Jet. Now, this is what you call a good set. This is $60. I think it's actually a perfect price. The other one was super overpriced. It's actually a, this is actually really nice. Many figures are incredible with the red sun. Um, let's zoom in real quick. You can actually see that. By the way, all of these were from Lego.com. And then the Bull Soldier, another really cool figure. Of course, Monkey Kid is in the set. And then another random city figure. Don't really care about that. The build itself, as you can see, is super cool. Here's another image of it. Then here are the figure selections, if you haven't seen that. Then there's the box. I think, oh yeah, that's like a separate side build. And then there's actually a feature where you can launch it into a cycle. I think that's pretty cool. This one is the Iron Bull Tank. Now, this one has Sandy in it, and this one is 50 bucks. I don't know, this actually seems so similar to the one in the Fortress one, but I think it's still, it's an okay build. It's pretty cool, actually. Again, more of the Bull Soldiers. And then Sandy, another cool big fig. And of course, the Monkey Kid is there. Now, this looks very similar to the, I believe, the Fortress-looking one. Or is that the flaming foundry let's go back you can see that vehicle right there it looks sort of like the iron bull tank and this one looks like the demon bull king but it's smaller so i don't know what's up with that but i don't know if i entirely like it now this other one is called the white horse bike i eh, it's actually pretty cool i don't really care for the side build i like the the bike though it's pretty cool with this cool minifigure called may then this a monkey kid with a drone car then again, those two bulls. And this is 35? What do you think we're made of money? 35 bucks? Are you serious? For only four minifigures? Like, I think this is the supposedly the cheapest set. But I guess not. Oh yeah, there's the Demon Bull King, right? Look at, just look at it. it. Doesn't it look so familiar to the one from the Flaming Foundry? It just looks... It, I don't know. The Flaming Foundry... Now looking back at the Flaming Foundry... They should have made a bit newer builds, unless this is just a totally different build from that mini demon bulking. This is 90 bucks. It's actually pretty cool. Another, There's actually Princess Iron Fan on it. Is this supposed to be like a creature, or is this supposed to be a mech? Looks kind of like a mech to me, like a robot, kind of cybernetic bull monster. I don't know, but three minifigures probably should have placed more, but still pretty cool set. But considering how it also somewhat comes in a flaming foundry i don't know i don't really like that this one is red sun's inferno truck now this is actually really cool they have a little panda store like a store i like that it's like a nice little city setting and oh why is there a karen <gasps> there's a karen lego put karen there sorry karen's a, a, a meme but yeah and then a really nice car and then of course the red sun's inferno truck i like it i like how it can actually split up here are the figures with monk, uh, the monkey kid, but in a different outfit. That's actually cool. And then we have the sets over here. 1,000, I, I believe that's 100, what the? 1,111. This is 120 bucks. I think it's actually cool, though. So this one is Pigsy's food truck. I actually, this is actually really cool. <laughs> I like it. It's, it. it's actually cool, though. I like it. Like the... Bill is actually really nice, of like a pig, uh, some sort of truck, as you can see. And in a way, it's somewhere, somewhat of an HQ, and I like that. Then you have two more of the bull enemies, and this is 70 bucks. Why are all the monkey kid sets expensive? But at least this one seems worth it with a driver's seat and a passenger seat. And it's a pretty nice build. 
Um, I do not like those red horn things being all over the place. Oh, yeah, and one thing that seems a bit messed up is how there are hot dogs all over the place. Are pigs made of hot dogs? I, I, I don't know. Are hot dogs made from pigs? I don't know. Or like a sausage? Because that's honestly kind of messed up. But still, it's a really cool build. One of the best of this theme, in my opinion. This other one here is the Monkey King Warrior Mech. I think this is really cool. I love this. I'm actually the type of a Lego mech person. Now, this really reminds me of, this theme really reminds me of Ninjago, except Ninjago's more a bit, I guess, more towards, it's definitely, it's like a Chinese version of Ninjago, basically. And this really reminds me of the, the new sets for Ninjago, because they have a lot of mechs, right? This reminds me of that season 13 mech. The figures are really cool, especially there's a different variant of the Monkey King. Let's let's go take a look at that. Yeah, as you can see, that's the Monkey King variant, and the Series 19 one's totally different. Again, the bull enemies, and then they still have those city characters. And then here's the box, which this is for 150 bucks. I think it's worth it. And then this is actually the big, massive staff, then a side build. Okay, this is the best Monkey Kid set ever made. This is incredible. A beautiful $170 set. Monkey Kids Team Secret HQ. It's basically, I told you guys, it's basically Ninjago. It's basically like a Chinese version of Ninjago or something like that. Because they have some really cool, I'm pretty sure, because I think Ninjago is somewhat more, I don't know, it's like anime in a way, like a Lego anime. This one, I don't know why. Because this one, Monkey Kid is based off of Chinese culture, I think. Or like some kind of Chinese legend. I don't know, I'm not Chinese, so I don't know that stuff. But this is just like Ninjago's Destiny's Bounty, right? Don't you think so? The Team Secret HQ, because it's also a boat. But in my opinion, has so much more detail with more builds, actually. A space for you to put a mech. And, the, and it's actually openable with the interior. And with like... Wow, this is this is incredible. I love that. I love this set. They also have Sandy again with the bulls, whatever. The set is so cool. They have these all sorts of mechs and details. This is an A plus. The best Monkey Kid set ever. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe because I do post every single day. So yeah, just check back on the channel every day because. I will be posting every single day. And if you want me to do more of these thoughts videos on these different LEGO teams, just smash like and subscribe. Oh yeah, and somebody said my channel is cringe. Well, that's just toxic. You're you're toxic, bro. You're cringe. So to all the haters out there, don't be toxic or you'll be placed in a bottle of acid. Okay, bye.